Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Arrow to the End. I'm here to let you all in on my secret of making um, HD uh, YouTube ready videos um, using a Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000. Um, I got this relatively cheaply from buy.com. I think that right now they're selling it for about seventy dollars. Uh, it usually retails for about a hundred. Um, I actually got it uh, on sale and I had a buy.com gift card so I ended up um, out of pocket only paying about forty dollars for it which um, you won't get that kind of results I don't think monetarily but you can get kind of results that I get uh, uploading videos to YouTube. Now, this camera is really nice. It features a Carl Zeiss lens, which I've heard is really good. Um, the only time I've ever heard that name is in reference to this actual camera, so it might not be that great, but then again, I'm not really an optics aficionado, so what do I know? Um, what I do know is that it seems that if you're recording in this frame size, that it doesn't really matter what your um, it doesn't really matter how much RAM or processing power you have or what your graphics card is like. The software bottlenecks you at 15 frames per second, which is fine for YouTube, especially if it's in a fixed state. If you have your camera just in a fixed state, the, this kind of motion blur is not really going to be that big of a deal. Um, a lot of my videos are wide angle, which is due to this Canon wide angle lens that I had purchased for my Canon ZR40 uh, tape based DV camera which um, has great quality but uh, you know what year is it you know I mean tape tape based anything is pretty primitive if you ask me um, especially since that kind of mechanism can change whatever. So, okay, we have this, and check out how much, oh, hey, how are you doing? Look at that, yeah. So, one of the tips for recording uh, HD for YouTube is to make sure that when you select your image size, um, Logitech in their quick cam the quick capture software has what they call HD, it's, uh, 960 uh, pixels by 720 pixels. Um, that'll give you a better resolution, obviously. But when you upload it to YouTube, it won't give you the option to click HD and actually watch it in that size. So what you want to do is go one further and hit uh, 1.3 megapixels. Now that'll give you a uh, 1280 by, I can't really remember what it is, uh, it's probably like 960. Uh, but that'll give you a 3 by 4 aspect ratio with 1280 as being the, the width. Now, um, when you go to edit, uh, open it up, and uh, I open it up in Sony Vegas, and just to sort of squish and sort of crop off the top and bottom, and you end up getting the option of uploading in HD on on YouTube, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and record a sample here and uh, show you. Hello, now I'm recording both on the screen capture and in quick capture. And hopefully this will work because I did it 
uh, before, and everything got messed up. And I'm trying to limit myself now because I think the file was too big and pissed my computer off. So let's not do that this time. Okay. So, stop recording. Okay, we've stopped recording. Uh, it's going to show up on the bottom. Whatever. It doesn't matter. And... I guess that's it. I've covered all the topics I need to cover. And, uh, happy YouTubing, YouTubers. Don't get into too much trouble. <laughs>